Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to do an unboxing slash book haul thingamajig. I've just recently kind of discovered Book Outlet, and I never really wanted to order from there because I don't want my books to have remainder marks. Um, I don't know, it's just a personal preference thing, but now I've started ordering from there anyways because I'm poor and I want the books anyways. But I like looked up how to take remainder marks off, and apparently you can take them off. By using high-grade sandpaper, you just kind of... But it comes right off. So I already um, undid the, like I cut this so that that's easier. And here's the box. Look out what, yeah, pretty exciting. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> okay, so the first book in here is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. So this is his first young adult fantasy novel, and it's about people who can make chalk drawings come to life, and they battle the bad chalk drawings, so that's pretty exciting. I've never really read anything like that. I, it makes me think of that one show, which I can't remember the name of, where they, the guy, the main character draws, and then the chalk comes to life, but this is pretty cool. I'm so excited. I love Brandon Sanderson, and apparently in this world, the U.S., is now a bunch of islands. Like, there's Texas. And where's Florida? Yep, yep, Florida. Repping it. <laughs> the next book that's in here is The Free Later by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. This is the seventh book in the Edge Chronicles series, and this is also the third book in the last trilogy of the series. The books don't really go in order chronologically, they just kind of jump around, so this one is the third in this, is, in this trilogy, which is called the Rook Trilogy. So this is the Rook Trilogy, um, so yes, I'm going to finish this one up, and it'll be fun and exciting. <coughs> and the last book I got is The Fire Chronicle by John Stevens. This is the second book in the Books of the Beginning series or trilogy, I think it's a trilogy. And this one's autographed. Look at that, look at that. I never really get autograph books, so... BAM! Signed. Sealed delivered. It's mine. Right, this series is about three siblings, Kate, Michael, and Emma, who go and find a, these books of beginning that are super, super powerful, magical books in, this, in the world, and they have to find them before the bad guys do, pretty much. The second book came out a long time after the first book, and the third book still isn't out yet. So I might hold off on reading this one for a while because I don't want to have to wait to read the third one for very long. <sighs> it smells weird. Look, there's rats. All that. That's rats. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I have one more package coming uh, soon, so I'll just wait and film that, and then I have books up at school that I got for Easter, so I'm gonna just combine all of these into one video, and then I'll upload it, and all that wonderfulness. So, I'm gonna continue along with my book haul, because the package that I was waiting for just got here. Here it is, it's from Amazon, I'm so excited, because I know what it is, and I can't wait. Ho 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 ho! So the first book out of the box is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Yeah! I'm so excited. This is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy, and I cannot wait to finish it and see what's going on. Just look at it. Just look at it. And just be happy. Brandon Sanderson. Yeah! If you don't know what this series is about, just look it up. Just look it up right now. Pause the video. Go look it up. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. I just can't handle myself right now. Okay, let's let's move on. The second book that was in the box is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in a newer series that he is writing. It's basically his epic fantasy series, much like the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan that Brandon Sanderson ended up completing at some point. This is the first book in the Stormlight Archive, and apparently it's absolutely amazing. Sarah Price from Books and Junk raves about it and has been reading it for a long time because look at it. It's humongous. It is, it is a thousand and one pages. Oh, that is a big fantasy book. I am very, very 
much looking forward to reading this book, but I feel as though I need to read the Wheel of Time series, or at least start it and kind of maybe go back and forth between these humongo books. Uh, just Brandon Sanderson, you're my favorite. I'm gonna buy all your books. What? <laughs> oh my god, you're so weird. Just look at all my Brandon Sanderson books. They're so pretty. I love them. Look at them. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up this book haul. These are the books that I ended up getting from the Easter Bunny uh, for Easter. So the first book that my Easter Bunny uh, got me was Myths and Legends by Philip Wilkinson. Uh, if you guys don't know that I just adore mythology, any type. So, and I don't know that much about um, some random ones like the pan, pan, this Asian stuff. I don't know much about that kind of mythology, so it's cool just a reference to get me started with some of the different types of mythology. So yes. The next book that I got is Illusion by Sherilyn Kenyon. I think this is the fifth book in the Chronicles of Nick series by Sherilyn Kenyon. This series is about a boy, it's kind of like a spin-off series from a series that she's already written, although I didn't write that series, so I'm just doing this one. Uh, it's kind of about demons and such. So, yes, pretty excited to get on to this one. The next book that I got is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Grisha trilogy. I really enjoy this trilogy, and so I'm pretty excited to pick up and continue along with this book. This book has a lot of Russian elements involved, and it's about a girl named Alina who finds out that she has power to control something that I'm not going to tell you so that you guys can figure it out when you read the first book, which you totally should. The last and final book that I'm going to be hauling in this video is A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. This is the second book in the Song of Ice and Fire series, and I am very excited to continue with this. And I can't wait. Don't spoil me in the comments, because I haven't been spoiled for a lot of stuff, although I have been spoiled for some things, which I'm not going to say them, because then they'd spoil other people. So, those are some of the books that I've gotten recently. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and comment down below some of the books that you've gotten recently. As always, my link to my Twitter, my Goodreads, and my Amazon wishlist are down below, so go and check those out.